many of us were horrified when we watched the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. It's on Lifetime. It's still available. You probably can find it on YouTube now or, you know, you can find it. It's out there. It consisted of witness testimony. There was video. There were people who were tied to what R. Kelly was doing. They were all talking and telling their stories. And many of us, before Lifetime dropped the docuseries, we knew what it was that R. Kelly was doing. I remember just out of high school, some of the rumors about R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're reading and seeing and hearing all of the different stories coming out about Diddy. And we're asking, when is the docuseries Surviving Diddy coming out? Mm -hmm. Lifetime, you need to get on that. But I've been talking about another individual for a while now. I've been watching the, the accusations, the rumors, the complaints about Trey Songs. And I've been asking, when is the docuseries of Trey Songs coming out? Last year. I posted this. I went under a different name. Y'all remember my, my name when I first got here on TikTok? The Opinionated Queen. That was my name. And I did this in early 2022. So TMZ just dropped an article about a new accuser alleging Trey Songs did some inappropriate things with her. And when that article dropped, I was like, another one? And that lit fire underneath me to head on over to Google to see how many women and what their accusations are towards Trey Songs. And an article came up by The Cut that was written back in February 2022, just a couple of months ago, that lists all of the allegations that women have brought forth in regards to Trey Songs. And after reading that article, I have one question. When is the documentary Surviving Trey Songs coming out? Now, of course, I wanted to dive into this article and share the article in detail. There's no way I can share that here on TikTok and there's no way that I can share it over on YouTube due to the graphic nature and the description by these women of what Trey Songs did to them. So I had to put a podcast episode together. Y'all could get to my podcast through the Linktree link. In my bio, I list all that he has been accused of over the years. You have a woman by the name of Dylan Gonzalez that filed charges against Trey Songs for what he did to her at a Las Vegas hotel. Kiki Palmer has publicly talked about what Trey Songs did to her, had her so afraid that she hid in a closet. Donna McIntosh, I know, she's come out, filed, filed charges against Trey Song's multi-million dollar suit that I believe is currently ongoing. Andrea Barrera came out and told her story. Jahara Jeffries came out and told her story. Selena Power and her friend Eliza went on a podcast and told their stories about what Trey Songs did to her. You had an anonymous woman come out and talk about her story, how he did her at a house party in Los Angeles. And now you've got this woman telling her story and she's got video to back it up. And none of this includes all of the other violent altercations that he had over the years. Arrest him! The podcast that I did, it's still out there where it lays out all of the different women that had come forward 
with allegations of assault against Trey Songs. The last woman in that little video clip, this is what recently happened. Her case was dropped. The judge said she waited too long to file her case. So Trey Songs walks away untouched from a, yet another accusation. When is the docuseries coming out in regards to Trey Song's lifetime? Because clearly it's going to take a conglomerate like you to get witnesses together so that they can tell their stories, provide their receipts and their evidence before anyone in the justice system will hold this man, this deviant accountable. Lifetime, get on that.